Now at 4.30, more than 300 laws are in effect throughout the state. And they're new, and some of them could impact you. One taking effect, the registration of assault weapons in high-capacity magazines. CBS 2's Darius Johnson joins us live from the newsroom with the details. Darius. Marie and Erica, good evening to you both. This was a controversial House bill that the Illinois Supreme Court ultimately decided to uphold. It was January 10th of last year in Springfield when Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signed a statewide ban on assault weapons in high capacity magazines. This then gave those who owned and purchased prior to this being signed into law a little bit of time to register. Today is that deadline for people to register those assault style weapons. Now, according to the Illinois State Police, as of last week, only 15,000 people have filed disclosures in accordance with the ban. Collectively, more than 50,000 disclosures have been filed and there are nearly 2.5 million firearm owner IDs right here in the state of Illinois. However, it's unclear exactly how many actually own assault style weapons, high capacity magazines or rapid firing triggers. I'm really thinking about the people who've been directly impacted by gun violence, whether it be survivors, people who've lost family members or anyone who's been directly or indirectly affected because some of the trauma that we carry from gun violence is visible in the form of injuries or PTSD or things like that, but so much of it is invisible and only, and is hard to see, right? But that trauma stays with you. In November, state police said it would be up to prosecutors in the 102 counties to enforce this. Right now, no word on penalties for those who fail to register. However, penalties do vary for selling, manufacturing, and purchasing. Coming up at 6, you'll hear more from Jacoby about her fight for this ban and hear from a local sheriff about how his department plans to tackle it. I'm live in the newsroom this evening. Darius Johnson, CBS2 News. Darius, thank you for that report.